We are reading from Sri Sri Vilap Kusumanjali by Sri Laragunathas Goswami, verse 37. O Svarna Gauri, golden girl, when will I, on your order, marry, join the armlet on your left arm with a new string of jewels? Beautified by a silken tassel. Yes, oh, Svarna Gori, golden girl, when will I, on your order, marry? Join the armlet on your left arm with a new string of jewels beautified by a silken tassel. Notes Sri Raghunath Dasya's heart is immersed in the mellow of devotional service. Sometimes he serves as he wants it, and sometimes as he is ordered. He relishes the flavors of devotional service as an associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Through his own life that was full of sadhana, he showed that the Acharyas are doing bhajan in faithful adherence. Sri Raghunathas follows Sri Rupa Goswami. Sri Raghunathas Goswami opens his Abhishta Suchanashta by writing The desire to serve the lover of the son of the king of the coward village is like a strong rider. May he mount the spotless horse of remembrance of Sri Rupa Goswami. This should be the desire of the wild horse of my heart. In other words, it is not good to have my own thoughts about how to attain Sri Radha's service. Those who are like bumblebees, intoxicated by drinking the honey, that oozes from Sri Chaitanya's lotus feet 
are always eager to attain the intimate service of Sri Radha. And they cannot attain it and experience it without following in the footsteps of the teachers of Raja Rasa, Sri Rupa and Raghunathas Goswami. Narottam Das sings, When I become eager for Rupa and Raghunath Dasa's grace, I will understand the love of Radha and Krishna. Radhe, Radhe. We can stop here and maybe Gurudev or Gauravani or some other devotees give their sharings about these few points which mentioned in the commentary. All you share, I want to listen. Okay, Gurudev. Maybe Gauravani, you can. Okay, I will give some small introduction. So please, Gauravani, add more ornaments. So we can see here from first of all from the words. Actually Raghunath is saying on your order my Suvarna Gori. I want to join your, on your left arm, your arm with a new string of jewels on your order. And we choose these words because somehow I always jump over these words. Because many times we were listening about Angada, this armament. But in these words, is mentioned there is one more little armament, like a string, tiny string, behind this Angada, on Radhika's hands. And some, it's, somehow, I always didn't put so much attention on that verse. But yesterday, I read this verse and suggested Kishori to read it because it's very nice verse who is adding and is going together with this verse of putting Angada on Radhika's left arm. And this small ornament, very thin ornament, with Nava Ratna, jewels. And these specific jewels are Nava, nine jewels. Tulasi, 
wants to join or to marry with this Angada. But she is awaiting order of Radhika. So many services Tulasi knows how to do following desire of her Swamini. But now she is waiting that Radhika ordered, give order to her. Please, you miss something. You miss something to put on me. One more ornament, which will complete all ornamentation. So, from the commentary, we can see uh, Kishoriji already read it that sometimes Raghunath is serves as he wants and sometimes as he is ordered. We have to understand properly the position of Raghunath's mind when he wants something to do. <clears throat> And this position is that actually it's not according to his improvisation. I just want to put whatever I want, what comes to me in my mind. No, he is still following like Tadatmiya, completely immersed in Radhika's feeling, in Radhika's needs, and serving her according to that. But sometimes if he forget to do some service out of ecstasy. And he is waiting her sweet order. Because in waiting the order and putting the order like Prashad on the hair is also exchange of rela loving relationship. Maybe sometimes I know what I have to do, but I'm waiting order for my superior. In that way, my superior will also show his affection to me. And happily, I will run away to do it, this seva, to fulfill desire of his heart. And like Raghunath forgot something here, maybe purposely, maybe not, I don't know. I also, if I can humbly say, I also overjump these words. But now it's happened like this, that these words just jump in my heart, in my heart, in my mind. So this is the reason why we choose. And it is said, actually, how Raghunath, like our Prayojana Acharya, we're doing bhajan through the potency of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy, Kripa. And with that Kripa also, he followed Rupa Goswami. So this combination of Gora Kripa and Gora Bhakta Vrinda Kripa is also important. And he is very nicely explained later on in his Abhishta Suchana Stava. Yes, like this. 
in very poetic, but also a little bit hidden way. And maybe Goravani or Gurudev or whoever wants. And one thing more. You yes. See. Read more. Read again. Again, yes. Sometimes he serves as he wants it, and sometimes as he is ordered. Yeah. He relishes the flavors of devotional service as an associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Through his own life that was full of sadhana, he showed that the acharyas are doing bhajan in faithful adherence commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Sri Raghunathas follows Sri Rupa Goswami. Watch, watch this. Open. Rupa Goswami. And opens his Apishta Suchanastava by writing. The desire to serve the lover of the son of the king of the cowherd village is like a strong rider. Mm. May he mount the spotless horse of remembrance of Sri Rupa Goswami. This should be the desire of the wild horse of my heart. In other words, it is not good to have my own thoughts about how to attain Sri Radhika's service. Again, repeat this. It is not good. Oh, from that, from the... The desire... Avista, Avista. Yes. The desire to serve the lover of the son of the king of the cowherd village is like a strong rock. May he mount the spotless horse of remembrance of Sri Rupa Goswami. Wow. This should be the desire of the wild horse of my heart. Wow. So we have here two horses. Wild horse and spotless horse. And strong desire, like a strong rider. And who is riding? Raghunath is riding. No, really. Uh, desire, yes. sorry. Desire, desire is Raghunath's desire. <laughs> the desire to serve. Uh, no, no, read again from there. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami opens his Abhishta Suchana Stava by writing. Mm. The desire to serve the lover of the son of the king of the cowherd village 
is like a strong rider. The desire to serve the lover of the son of the king of the cowherd village is like a strong rider. Desire to serve the lover. And who is the lover? Radha. She is beloved of the son of king of coward. <coughs> that is my understanding. Wow. No deviation of Iva. Yeah. Strong desire is like a stronger rider because it's focused on one goal. Wow. May he mount the spotless horse of remembrance of Sri Rupa Goswami. Wow. Spotless horse is the superior which I follow. My desire is a strong writer who wants to be very tightly connected with those who are already rather dasis. And in that way, I want to write, to put my strong desire on the waves of their strong desire. Because their desires is spotless. And be and he is putting this, I think, Gurudev, this um, words horse, because the horse always running straight, not wild horse. My heart is wild horse. and will bring me very fast. To the lover of son of King of Raj. This should be the desire of the wild horse of my heart. Yeah. If I don't put myself on the horse of Rupa, I will always stay in the association of my wild horse. Wow. Cart which is running everywhere. And my, there's a two horses. One is wild. And with wild horse, you cannot do anything, actually. He's jumping left and right. He's rejecting, refusing everything. He's not accepting anything. He's wild. There is not, no use of it. No accepting his boss. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but to throw it up from the riding. No the surrendering. Not surrendering. Yes. Independence. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Such a beautiful comparison, actually. But 
if my strong desire, my desire becomes strong, rather, it means it will be very intelligent to cho choose the proper horse. I will reject this wild horse, or I will, I don't know this words on English, but you know, when you sit on the wild horse, you need little time to make peaceful. To tame the horse, I think. What? Tame is the word, I tame. think. Okay, I, I don't know, this, but everyone knows what I think. <laughs> to put him a little bit on the control. But this kind of control is with attachment to lover of the son of king of Raja. To the lover. And the spotless horse of her maidservant will bring this wild horse on control and he will become more stronger and focused to attain his goal. So the like Guru Dev is saying, choice is yours. You want to be a wild horse and ride on the wild wishes and wild hearts or mind, or you want to be a strong rider. <laughs> <laughs> and horsemen, you know, there is a car, eight horsepower, <laughs> six horsepower, and four horsepower. This is the capacity of the car. Means one horse is the one horsepower. <laughs> So, car means uh, this is my external body consciousness. So, my car is one horsepower, one horse capacity, and is a wild horse. <laughs> no listening to the boss. And boss is sitting on that. He want to throw it out someplace. He, box cannot manage this. <laughs> this is my saru, not soul consciousness that I out of my control. I try to be there, but I go again for. My horse make me to forget, throw it out. So why? Right? Yes. If someone wants to add something, because this is really practical example, wow. and everyone can. <laughs> <laughs> make relationship with this own, from personal experience. <laughs> so this in the connection, our, our Gaudiya Parampara, talking something, meaning is something. Means, yeah, Parkia Bhav, writing also. Mm. Who want to go deep, they will understand. Who only read the book, <laughs> Things they will ignore it. Understand? Take opinion of Yeah, they will ignore it. <coughs> so Krishna Bhakta, oh, my intelligence, 
because he go deep in the subject to feel it. Then Radishment can come. Yeah. Yeah. Chandra wanted to say something. Radhe Radhe. Jai Gurudev. So this example is perfect example but it's a little difficult to understand. I had to listen or read five times that I can follow the meaning. So, but to make it more simple, we can see here the example of greed and mercy. The strong desire to serve Radharani is the rider. That means there's greed. Raghunath has greed. And how he will attain his goal? The rider is not riding. The horse is bringing him to his goal. And the horse is the remembrance of Rupa Goswami, our acharyas. And the relationship between Raghunath and Rupa, Rupa is Gurudev for Raghunath. So the remembrance of Gurudev and our chayas and begging for their mercy, they will bring us to the service of Radharani. And what I need is greed for that. I think this is the example given, given here in this beautiful purport of Anantadas Babaji. Jai Radhe. Uh, can I say something? I am inspired by Gaurav Chandra. Radhe Radhe. Can I share something to you? So beautiful. Uh, actually, I'm just um, I'm so inspired now listening to to the Goras and. Uh, Lord Sandra said such a beautiful um, way that um, Rupa Goswami is the horse, he's the guru. And then we sit on this uh, horse. When the horse is very tamed and knows its way, you know, a horse can even find its way back home. You know, maybe we have seen those movies where uh, uh, a rider goes somewhere and then gives the horse a clap and says, now go home, you know, and the horse just finds its way. You know, he exactly knows where to go. So that's our condition. If we go on that horse, mount that horse, which brings us directly to Radha, Charan, Seva, then we can also be relaxed and don't have to worry about that. And uh, also, then I remember this very beautiful um, uh, part in Vilaku Sumanjali, where Radharani is asking, to Tulsi Manjari, like Tulsi, why do you love me so much? You know, what is it that you cannot like leave me for a second? I don't understand. And then Tulsi says, I also don't know, but I know the moment my Guru Manjari introduced me to you. Since then, I cannot forget you anymore for a moment. So the importance of Guru Dev, of Guru Manjari in that case, to ride us there, you know, that we have to rely on her. And then we are choiceless, I felt, no, like if we follow Guru Dev, we have no choice. Wherever he takes us, we have no choice, you know. 
And in, in one way, it's a, a great sacrifice because we love to be independent. We love to be the wild horse. We love to do it our way. But surrender has also the other aspect. It means that, yes, you know, I can relax, actually. I can fully relax, go on this path, because I know that the horse, in that case, will he knows the way. So I'll just, a small uh, thought which came to me. One thing, one thing more, uh, Sundara say, Gauranga Sundara say, Raghunath Das Goswami is a Prem Proryojan Acharya. Right? Means what he is teaching? The way of love. Mane, he is the teacher of the way of love. What he say? Showing us love. And my wide heart don't want to go that way. Understand? We want to hand over the responsibility, everything. To Gurudev now, he is the goal of my life, and he will do A to Z. He is a wild house nature. Because I want to sit in wild, wild house and not want to do anything, and we hand over everything to him. Now we say, all wrong thing you do, and right thing I do. With my wild house. Are he the showing the way? He knows, he, the, way. He knows the way and he show the way on me. He is never the goal. My wild hearts create this problem inside me to deviate the goal. Horse knows the way. And wild horse not want to know the way. Guru Dev, sometimes, oh, sorry. Sometimes the, sometimes the spotless horse is very intelligent and very clever and is testing the rider in the middle of the way. Does he still remember the goal? And suddenly he make a move to go left or right. And if the rider doesn't know or he's not sure or forget the goal, this intelligent spotless horse can bring him a little bit around. Wildness horse can be. But wild the, wild, but the gentle horse, uh, when you see it, he knows only the goal and he knows only the home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other place you want to go, then you have to show him. Right or wrong. 
and he when you sit in that pause then he know that he is really want to go because he is my boss and he knows the go by sitting he know the weight and understand because he has a habit how he keep the feet how he keep the this so he knows but that time the rider has to be surrender to the horse till not reach the goal so there is a heart to heart connection right you have came so many wild horses all of us what is the trick love is the way love is the way i always appreciate and when i see the demons i become heavy hmm. sometimes i catch demons i don't dispute that time maybe sometime they leave me i don't bother but when i see the demon then i want to make hammer to not to my devotees hammer to the demons who is disturbing to my devotee and i can see that mm. sometime demons run away sometime not living but i punish to that person not that demon i don't want to any type of disturbance i no fear any this this science i understand very well and this is the gift of my guru dev to go centrally heart is required in this way our wild nature disturb us father us touching to me so i say repeat it I have a question guru dev. Mm. So you talking a lot many times again and again you say that guru is not the goal. So I'm asking myself always why guru dev speaking so much on this subject. I think I understand that guru is not the goal and and i guess also most of your devotees they understand that radha mohan is the goal maybe there is something that i don't understand deeply maybe it's a subtle subject or something but why are you talking so lot about guru is not the goal you see that that many devotees have somehow this misunderstanding this i see that you know i can see this demonic idea takes time to understand the goal and then only to understand the goal is a point b is how to develop relation then how to move on that way then the things start then how to relate how to be a personal 
how to develop feelings. Many things start after that. And I see 10 years, 20 years, the waste that time, only that Guru is my Guru. Why the waste 20 years? No need to waste there. Love Matra Sadhu Sang Savasiddhi Hoi. Why the love math means a few seconds. If you sit, sit with this real realized person, you all got perfection. It's so easy. It's simple. Only my nature is to develop feeling and relation. And it will not come without connection with the Istadev. You only relate and connect and develop uh, connection, all will automatic in coming inside. So what you are seeing is that we are not doing real relationship with the Ishtadev. So the Guru automatic becomes the goal. Natural. That is the point? This is the point. You see your life. Is it natural? All power start coming to you when there is a relation fixed, feeling fixed. Believe me. And if not fixed, then it takes time. That's a simple thing, while horse I'm sitting. Right or not, Gopinath? Yes. Says here. Yeah. I have also one question, Gurudev. Mm. So here is also written that this should be the desire of the wild horse of my heart. So I read the whole thing again and then I will ask if I understand this right. The desire to serve the lover of the son of the king of the cowherd village. You see? Is like a strong. Many, many will understand the cowherd village king. But Rasik will catch something else. Read you. Read again. The desire to serve the lover of the son of the king of the cowherd village. You see. The lover is Radharani. He is very small, hidden. Mm. But the main thing is this. Yes. So the desire to serve Radharani is like a strong rider. Point. And this is greed. Right. And when we have this greed to serve Radharani, 
May this greed jump on the spotless horse that, of remembering that, of Sri Goswami, Guru that, Dev. You see, you are baby in a spiritual life, and you explain. Mm. Right? So, next sentence is this should be the desire of the wild horse of my heart that's the point that point that has to be desire is desire is not there is a wild horse is that but i have one picture in my mind that i don't know if i can explain but there is something that I want to ask. I will try, but please excuse me if I get a little not so clear with my question, but I tried to put it in words. So there is the greed to serve Radharani, which is the strong rider. So only with the greed we can ride the horse. There is no other rider. The only rider is the greed to serve Radharani. And this greed should mount the spotless horse of remembrance yeah. of Sri Rupa Goswami, meaning this greed should always ride the horse of Gurudev, remembering Gurudev. Yeah. And this should be the desire of the wild horse of my heart. What should be the desire of the wild horse of my heart? Because should it like should it be? Is it possible to also take that greed and try to ride my wild horse? And I should instead jump on the spotless horse of remembrance of Gurudev, or is it possible that? That the desire of the wild horse it's is to bad. remember Gurudev. He has a many horses who has no desire. They will sit on wild horses because he likes to control the wild horses. He want to, and wild horse also know this guy has to throw. I have to throw it. I have to bring many ways. <coughs> wild horse means this. He never knows any one way. Mm. Come back home or go to the the goal. So this way we want to stay there. But you also say that when Gopinath was asking how you have tamed so many wild horses, how you do this, then you say that. It's all because of your Gurudev. So in my mind, I can feel that you say that my horse in my heart was also wild, but because of the remembrance of my Gurudev, it became spotless. So now I can be one pointed. No, they are, they are riding on me. This wild, uh, my disciples, they want to ride on me. Uh. But nature is wild horse nature. So this is the meaning of Guru is not the goal. Um, the riding on me, and and then I check that something is. Uh, deviating and some idea, philosophy idea from the previous play is not as a, he has no goal. You understand? So the desire of the wild but horse of my heart should be that... Wild, uh, I watch this, that we become wild, wild because I have no training to be to go to goal, to come back to the there. 
So we nature become very wild. So you have to, you have, cannot fight with him. He will throw you out from your sitting. He will yes. stand at the two feet, or he will fall down or something. He's that very, I know. I know very well. <laughs> Uh, How this feels like. <laughs> right? Radha. By love. They want to ride on me, but by now I'm teaching. I never fight. And he so you become very angry. I'm not angry. Angry means whole life anger. Never. The moment and finish. Who is creating wildness inside that I want to be this to disturb them? Understand? Clear to you? Right. In other words, It is not good to have my own thoughts about how to attain Sri Radha's service. And this is why us and their own thoughts to do that. Mm -hmm. They not want to go in the systematic way. Many are there. It's not work like that. That need parampara, that mm. need a way, what is authorized by the Mahajans. And you not that Mahajan, ten Mahajans, they are in this line, Gauriya Math is this line, Babaji is this line, and they talk different, different way. That is only one way. Oh God, you have Only one way. For Raga Bhakti. And by the Bhakti is just external preparation. How to run the ashram. That is the same thing. <laughs> Bhakti Bhakti. Raga Bhakti is spiritual way, it's the one way. Those who are like bumblebees, intoxicated by drinking the honey that comes from Sri Chaitanya's lotus feet, yeah. are always eager, greedy, to attain the intimate service of Sri Radha. But honey is coming, that honey of love is coming. From where? From Gauranga Chaitanya. If I want to be conscious, Chaitanya, then I can see I need that I'm divine. And they cannot attain it and experience it without following in the footsteps 
of the teachers of Raja Rasa, Sri Rupa and Raghunath Das Goswami. Teacher means by behavior they are teaching. They do that way and they say that you also go that way. It's written earlier in this uh, commentary that through his own life that was full of sadhana, he showed that the acharyas are doing bhajan in faithful adherence. Yes. When I was preacher, I was traveling. Then we see the preachers. I said, My dear brother, he was doing something and talking something. Why this? I read the system. And thus, devotees. <laughs> My, I have to be normal and this, that. You see, so this is teaching and doing, that is the way. I do something and teach something is not working. <laughs> no meaning. First, I have to do. Then I have to share it. Rate, rate. When and do and realize it, to mm -hmm. feel it, to understand it, then you share your words, your feelings through the words. And that was is a Narayan Maharaj hidden part of the ocean. That is the words Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita. That is the word of Anandas Bhagavad Gita. We love Kusumanjali and Radhavas. All are the words that these two. He is practicing and he said, if you want to develop, you have to practice. This is the thing to practice in life and realize it's not philosophy. So if I don't do this, why I need as many books? First, I have to practice and realize that I will need more than to understand. Still, I know complete. I, I think that I still not understand. I'm trying to practice more to understand. Just now I realize it that Gauranga Sundar said the Prayojan is the arch teaching of Raghunathu. So I said, This is the teaching, man. this is the teacher's way. He is practicing and telling to us. So I say, Navigator, why this great prayer? He is showing by their behavior, and we have to follow this. That means he is not a goal. He is showing the way of love. That's it. So why not he accept this? This is our parampara. 
you want to practice mayavad parampara <laughs> I do and I show you. You can, if you like, you want to sit in a wild house, you sit. If you want to sit in the right place, you sit. Take shelter and follow the way. Right? Clear? I understand like this. I don't know. Gurudev, so we can see here, like Gora Chandra is saying, that you are very often try to mention that we have to have a goal and that Guru is not a goal because you see the reality between your disciples. But also, Anantadas Babaji, in every commentary, in every commentary of Radha Rasa Sudhaniti, and especially Vilapa Kusumanjali, in the beginning and sometimes on the end or in the middle, is emphasizing importance of following. Because he also knows that sadakas cannot follow, shishya cannot follow. Follow means doing. Doing. A goal means nothing doing, only thinking. And living with them. So what I have to do, why not Guru has to do, so the, he, why not make gold to him? That's it. Then I have nothing to bother. Only to think. I have to sit in wild house and they will do. <laughs> I want to sit in wild house and then he will do for me. So this is the reason why he is saying it's not good. Kishoriji, how it was? It is not good to have my own thoughts about how to attain Sri Radha's service. Yeah. Bhakti is what is bhakti. Not what I think what is bhakti and what I want that bhakti be. And yeah. this is misconception which at least i i'm always struggling with it what is really bhakti devotional not ambitional service devotional <laughs> because between ambition and devotion there is a big difference <laughs> but i'm practicing ambitional thank you service. i will never forget this <laughs> very nice <laughs> <laughs> ambition and devotion. Yeah, this is very nice, but this is very tricky, actually. Yes, yes, yes. But it's because the wild horse. Understand what I am doing, also. Yes. <laughs> not bhakti is not what I think that this is bhakti, and I, like Gurudev said, what I practice like a bhakti, and I am convincing myself and others that is the bhakti. It is not good. To Not have good. my own thoughts about how to attain Sri Radha's service. Yes, wild thoughts, <laughs> <laughs> wild senses. <laughs> it's not just one horse. I'm sorry. In me, is always few horses are running in different ways. Many horsepower. <laughs> Many horsepower. Not only one horsepower. <laughs> But if I accept to ride on a spotless horse of my beloved Guru, yeah. then these horses are coming in one horse. <laughs> See that. And then I can try to learn what does it mean, Anya Bilashita Shunyam. Yeah. Jnana Karmadi Anavrita. Krishna 
anushilanam, that is bhakti, for his pleasure or for my Ishtadev's pleasure, Radhika. And that is a bhakti. Not why, what my wild horse thinks, <laughs> wants <laughs> that bhakti be. Interesting. <laughs> That's good that it, it, it co it's coming by your mercy. <laughs> this subject it is very important. <laughs> <laughs> Guruman, so you can, you can if, please help goal, me. If the goal here, is... Here we have... Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, please. Sorry, please end. No, just uh, only one thing I want to say. So this is the meaning of what Gurudev is saying always and always repeatedly, love in action, that the goal is love and devotion is doing. So this would be the meaning of love in action. But it's hard to understand without all the great Vaishnavas sharing their feelings. Only then the meaning of these words will come to me. So thank you. Action is with love. All action, you watch who is who love, love, or selfless, or some reason behind that. Ambitious. Ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> action should be in love. Mm. Sri Ram, right? And here we get the connection actually to the verse again. Because why he is waiting for the Seva? He wants to serve exactly like Swamini wants. Sri Rad. And Swamini wants to serve her beloved. She wants to make a puja for him. And this armlet is giving, uh, is, is a part of the seva actually. And it will be very auspicious for Swamini's beloved. And that's why everything has to be exactly in time and has to be served Swamini in the right way to invoke the right emotions in the right time so that her seva to her beloved is also perfect. So in this moment he is waiting for the order because he don't want to ride his wild horse. He wants to serve exactly like Swamini need that. Yeah. yeah. Go on. Sri Raghunathas Goswami. In his spiritual absorption as to Lassi Manjari is decorating Swamini's beautiful body. What a great thing this is in the life of Sadhana. By the grace of Rupa and Raghunath, the Sadhaka's mind becomes qualified to relish these flavors and qualified to think of Sri Radharani.
without great eagerness, this sweetness cannot be known. How great is the eagerness of Rupa and Raghunath. Srila Rupa Goswami's Utkalika Vallari and Srila Raghunath Das Goswami's Vilap Kusumanjali are proof of that. They are lamenting over Srimati Radharani. And if the neophyte devotees can also lament like that over the Goswamis, their ecstatic mood can be infused in them. Radhe. Can you repeat this, please? She uh. How great is the eagerness of Rupa and Raghunath? Srila Rupa Goswami's Utkalika Vallari and Srila Raghunathas Goswami's Vilap Kusumanjali are proof of that. They are lamenting over Srimati Radharani. And if the neophyte devotees can also lament like that over the Goswamis, their ecstatic mood can be infused in them. Yeah. Yes. So Rupa and Raghunata are lamenting over Radhika because of in the moment of great, painful separation in love. But it's written here that neophytes, beginners, should, lim should lament like that over them. And in that way, their ecstatic mood will be infused in their hearts. To lament over Rupa and Raghunata means to ride the spotless horse of remembrance of Sri Rupa and Raghunata also in our case. Accepting their mood in Sadakavish of lamenting is re proper remembrance of over them. And through their festival of lamenting, Sadaka can be infused in the heart with their feelings. Because in their festival of lamenting is so much emotions and so much humility. This kind of humility is like, like an ornament on the sadaka, on the acharya. And as we remember in Chaitanya Charitamrita, in this verse, Trinada Pisunichena, Krishna Das Kavijai said, This is the necklace which every sincere devotee wants to 
all the time has around his neck because in that way he will not be a wild horse and this is the most beautiful ornament and this ornament must be natural ornament because the real humility which is infused in the heart of sadaka from the heart of rasik premik bhakta is a natural humility not under the gunas sometimes i'm humble sometimes i'm not sometimes i'm anger sometimes i'm proud sometimes like, i'm proud to be so humble yes this is not natural humility this is wild horse humility how beautiful is this wild horse is <laughs> If we want to be conscious, this will help us. Yes. To meditate on their lamentation from our sadaka body, on in their spiritual bodies, farupers, they are very proud actually to be with Radhika. But in their sadaka wish. They are completely melting of emotions and humbleness, and strong desire to become maid servant of the lover of the son of King of Rindal. And there is no way other, no way other, no way other than to receive. their humility their emotions their pure love in the heart of this wild horse <laughs> and actually a wild horse doesn't have any home if the rider gets unconscious the horse will do whatever it has to do but the spotless horse will find the way home even if the rider gets unconscious <laughs> so much inspirations are coming <laughs> and uh, this subject <laughs> uh, in the in the actually Wild horse has no goal. But this. So it has one goal: not to surrender. Not to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In not the past, this is my goal. Independent. <laughs> this And is my goal. Independence. Condition. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is my goal. Freedom. <laughs> Freedom. freedom. I fight for my freedom. <laughs> Jan me, Jan me. De, Radhe. Narin Gurde. Thank you. Go on. Very good subject you are reading. You are teaching me. My wife, she is still not controlled by age. is still not balanced to me so i i associate all of you that maybe some teaching he will understand and learn and he will change <laughs> and he will know the goal and hope to come back Well, you are they, not in as as pure manjari bhav guru dev <laughs> we have to read between the lies of, lines of what you are saying guru dev 
saying mm -hmm. one thing and meaning is different. <laughs> need to know much that go on. Srila Naratam Das Thakur lamented. Where is my Svarup Damodar? And where is my Sanatan Goswami? Sri Radhe. Where is Raghunath Das, the savior of the fallen? Where are my Raghunath Bhatta and Gopala Bhatta? And where is Krishna Das Kaviraj? Where has Lord Gora, the king of dancers, gone this time? I will smash my head against the wall and enter into the fire. Where shall I go to find the ocean of qualities, Sri Goranga? Narottam Das weeps when he cannot get their association. at the association of all those who sported with them. The fire of this love in separation is like the reviving nectar churned from the transcendental ocean of joy sorrow, happiness, and distress. Wow. The remembrance of this great love in separation tastes like nectar and keeps the Rasika devotees alive. The Raga Sadhakas should always pray. Ha Swamini, in exchange for my life, I just want to understand that you are everything to me. Although I am unqualified, to attain your lotus feet, please make it clear to me at least that I have no one but you in this world. Yeah. Ha Swamini, in exchange for my life, I just want to understand that you are everything to me. Although I am unqualified to attain your lotus feet, please make it clear to me at least that I have no one but you in this world. Yeah. Sri Raghunathas is weeping, feeling great heartache. His loyalty is immeasurable. He wants to see Srimati Hundeshwari directly. 
So he falls on the bank of Sri Radha Kund with an unshakable vow. I will not go anywhere outside of Radha Kund without having seen my Kundeshwari. This enthusiasm will also awaken in the hearts of any fortunate sadhaka who serves the Mahavani. Great words of the Goswamis. Maha Shakti Shali Vani. These words are very powerful and they will take the, Radha, the Raga Sadaka by the hand and bring him to the lotus feet of the beloved deity. Yeah. Mm. Jai Ho, how clear is this statement? Take by the hand and bring directly. And how to serve these words of these Acharyas? Please, Gurudev, explain us. Mahajan Gata Sopanta. You have to make Mahajan in physical body life. For me, in my family, I, I relate with one Mahajan. She was my grandmother. And second Mahajan, I got it. My Guru did. Mahajan Gata Supant. And second thing, all Mahajans who want to be in Raga Bhakti, they, that is also jump. They show the way. They are not my goal. They are showing the way how to move on. Radhe, Radhe. May I share something? You were all just explaining how important it is to remember the Goswamis because they are so deep in the remembrance of Radharani and so greedy for her service. So if we can remember Gurudev and 
Goswami is then we can also feel this greed that they feel to serve Radharani. And now I can feel this example of that by reading the words of the Goswamis, the commentary of Shyanantadas Babaji. And Gurudev is here with us taking us by the hand and just handing over his feelings that he has in his heart for Srimati Radharani. So I'm very grateful that you all share today because now I get to feel a little bit of this by reading and sharing with Gurudev. So I also understand practically what is the meaning of remembrance of the Goswami's words. I would just add one small thing on your sharing love love for acharyas can qualify us and give us ability to follow their maha ban we have to love gurudev we have to love Prabhupada. we have to love anantadas babaji because without love we will not be able to remember their personalities, their feelings, and their gifts to us. And now, why we like to listen to this Vilapa Kusumanjali? Because devotees love Raghunath. Because devotees love his words, his feelings. Because devotees love Ananta Das Babaji, his explanations and his feelings. Because devotees love our beloved Gurudev. And they love each other. Without love, we cannot remember, glorify, meditate, follow anyone so the art of love mahajanas is actually great kripa also because they are expressing their feelings in their mahavanis it's not philosophy Whatever we read, I don't know, two hours, how long, and we was, there was no whiff of philosophy. Only lamentation, out of love, hankering, out of love, desire, out of love. And in that way, they are infusing their bhava through their mahavanis in our simple sometimes wild hearts to love acharyas that's it i just wanted to add nir aparad naam lai nir aparad naam means nir aparad means uh, never do Aparad even to the any living and non-living entity. Any any enemy even anyone who is think bad about you, near Aparad, don't think bad about anyone. Tar hoy pray 
never offense to anyone. My wild hearts make me to do offense. Unfortunately, I have no self-identification as Radha's kinkari. I'm always intoxicated by bodily consciousness. I am boasting about my learnings and knowledge, but I have never recognized my true self. How tender is the thought, I am Radha's maidservant. And how much flavor awakens within the heart then. Please awaken my Svarup, O Swamini. I don't want anything else. Ragunath has hung the nose pearl and sits still now. As a proud maidservant, she waits until her mistress will order her. What else will you put on me? Tulasi then says, O oh, Shvarnagori, on your order, I will give a string of new jewels in marriage to your left armlet. Ah. This string is very dear to Swamini. She wears it for Shama Sundara's welfare, thinking. It is very auspicious for my Priyatam. When she formally worships the sun god, Swamini thinks, Let all dangers and obstacles of Shama Sundara be destroyed. Let him always freely play his erotic games with me and let his qualities of the Dhira Lalita hero increase. This new string of jewels is sewn on a silken band with flower-like tassels at each end. Tulasi thinks, Let me marry that string with the armlet on Swamini's left arm as if symbolizing Radha and Mohan's meeting with this act of service. The bhava and the murti are the same here. Tulasi does not join the new jewel ring to Srimati's armlets. She establishes Srimati's meeting with Shama Sundara. She does not understand it. 
Shrimati is called Shvarnagori here because her bodily effulgence paints the whole forest of Vrindavan golden like fresh champaka flowers. Worship that indescribable presiding goddess of love, world enchanting Radha, who paints the naturally green environment of Rindavan golden with her own luster that resembles fresh champaka flowers. Jinkari Tulsi awakens an upsurge of, of Shamanurag, passionate love for Krishna, in that Radha whose form is naturally beautiful. Swamini passionately stretches out her left arm to grab the string of new jewels. Aha, how wonderful is the beauty of her arm. Tulasi is enchanted. This is not a mundane arm. Some compare it with the golden lotus stem. And some say, these are not golden lotus stems, but Cupid's ropes. These ropes are expert in embracing the black tamala tree, Krishna. How many past sports with Priyatam is Tulasi awakening in Swamini's memory? Blessed is this maidservant, the embodiment of love. How many ornaments of love isn't she using? With great attachment, the devotee should meditate on the loving services he is rendering to his Ishvari, goddess, who is dearer to him than millions of lives. It is not enough for the aspirant to systematically memorize a quota of verses about these services and to remember the gradual Ashtakaliya Lila. Radha and Mohan's eternal eightfold daily pastimes. Without having actual love, devotion, humility, intuition, and spiritual experience. This is not Raga Nuga Bhakti. This kind of devotion is not based on mere book knowledge or scriptural, scriptural injunctions, but it is based on divine, passionate greed that arises 
after hearing about the activities of the people of Braja. On the manifest plane, the six Goswamis, and on the unmanifest plane, Nanda, Yashoda, Radharani, Rupa Manchari, etc. Srila Rupa Goswami and Srila Raghunathas Goswami are the greatest shelter for such spontaneous devotees. Without hearing their expert loving prayers for devotional service, one sadhana cannot be beautiful and successful. How greatly Raghunath suffers when he does not feel Swamini's hand holding him. He laments and prays. Oh, hear me, tender golden girl of Braja. When I receive your order, I will ecstatically marry your Angada armlet with a Ratnamala jewel string with silken tassels on both ends on your left arm. Yeah. Very deep. This need more time. Yes, <laughs> but I wanted to finish reading before the Arati call is coming. This is also very deep. Uh, next time. Next yes. time, I can read this, yes. and we will go deep in that. Please. Or try to find out. Something come, I will explain. You all share, then it will come there. Up. 